Good morning, Raisinville. One week from today, Friday the 24th, will be our last roundup of the year. This will be a chance for us to reflect on the previous year, including some of the big accomplishments we've made individually, as a class, and as a school. One of those big accomplishments being that Raisinville Elementary School is officially the only authorized IB school in Monroe County. This wouldn't have been possible if it were not for the hard work of all the teachers, staff, and students. Congratulations to everyone involved. That's not the only big accomplishment for the school. This year, one of our more recent milestones for Raisinville is that our very own principal, Mr. Hopper, was chosen for Administrator of the Year. Let's see what a few of our friends said to us, had to say about why he deserves this honor. So this video is going to be for, for Mr. Hopper. So you can't let him know. we got to keep it a secret. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay, cool. So guess what? 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 Mr. Hopper won the whole Apple Award. <laughs> do you know what that is? No. So Mr. Hopper won Principal of the Year. What? Is that what it means? I put a big, a big package of, of apple pizza. <laughs> Why does Mr. Hopper deserve to be Principal of the Year? He's always nice and he always gives people another chance and he's the best principal ever. He deserves to be. I think Mr. Hopper deserves this because he can help students when they're having a problem. Because he is super nice. Uh, Mr. Hopper deserves to be principal of the year because <clears throat> he is very caring towards all the students and he works very hard. Mr. Hopper deserves this because he helps kids and he will help solve problems with other students because he's really nice. Mr. Hopper deserves it because he's open-minded to the children. He helps us so we won't get hurt. Mr. Hopper deserves it because he's caring. He keeps us safe and he's funny. Uh, you're the leader of school. I don't I don't know. What? Three. Yay, Mr. Hopper! Congratulations, Mr. Hopper. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, Mr. Hopper. Congrats, Mr. Hopper. Congratulations, Mr. Hopper. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hopper, for everything at the school that's both seen and unseen. This honor was well deserved. Now let's take it to Haven and Sam. The Royal Varsity Baseball team has an away game today against Huron at 4:30. The Varsity Softball team will return to action on Monday at with a home game against the Ida Blue Streaks. <laughs> we are halfway through May and most of our main events this month have already happened. Yesterday, students were given the opportunity to buy snow cones and a week from today will be our last roundup. We have still, we still have some big events slated for June though. One of the, one of which being Cozy Reading Camp. We will update you with more details on this as we approach you. Back to you. Thanks Haven and Sam. Now let's take it to Brady and Owen with the weather. Today's forecast is cloudy for high of 63, low 50, and possible thunderstorms later tonight. If you need me, I will be hiding under my blankets on my bed. This is Justin. Today's episode is the 100th episode of Raz News. I'd like to first congratulate everyone on a job well done and remind them that we would have never made it this far without the hard work, dedication, and comedic genius of one man. Me. I truly deserve this. Back to you. Thanks, Brady and Owen. Unfortunately, that's all the time we had for today. So from all of us here at REST, good, good morning, morning, good, good evening, evening, and good, good night. night.